Hello everyone, welcome back to Arrakis for another episode of Let's Play Dune, the 1992 video game adaptation of the 1965 novel and 1984 film. We're here on the 61st day of what I guess is our campaign. Um, we have Charisma 31, I think that's unchanged since last time we checked. We now control 24% of the areas on the planet compared to the Harkonnens 20%, which I think is encouraging. Our spice production is increasing, which it'll be good for our, our financial reserves. Um, number of men staying the same, but I think that's going to be slow to change. Let's exit the globe um, and take a look at the map. So one of the things that um, surprised me is that we're on the 61st day. It's really crept up on me how many in-game days we've spent already. And on also how many episodes we've, um, we've played. They've ended up being... I think on average about 50 minutes in length, despite my intention to keep them a bit shorter than that. If they sort of fall into um, a natural cycle length, um, especially as we're in this portion of the game, which uh, is a lot more t overtly time sensitive than, um, than previous stages of the game. Um, and I I don't mind it actually, I, th I think it's alright, I think it's a, a reasonable length. And I kind of like the little dance we're in at the moment, it feels... Um, manageable, especially as I'm getting more of a more of a grip on what we need to do. Well, at least I feel I do. I hope, hopefully, that will be borne out. Now I've got a list of a couple of things to do that I noted down from last time. So we've got five days until our next spice shipment is due. I wanted to check in with the prospectors, who I think are quite far out of reach at the moment. Yeah, they were checking out the the most recent CH that we found. So we can't contact them directly, but we can have a look at the spice density map, which will tell us what that area is like. Oh, good, fairly good to mine. Okay, um, I don't think we have anywhere else for them to go yet, do we? Because we haven't um, haven't recovered any areas for them. No, I mean there's a, a potential there, but that's that's what we're going to see about next. So. We're going to exit the maps, and me and Stilgar are going to head out in an ornithopter, I think, um, to our usual communication spot of the uh, smugglers trading post. Over here, by the fish's tail. And when we get there, we're going to check in with the uh, soldiers, um, especially with the um, the troop that's undercover in the uh, Harkonnen port. See if we can uh, make any inroads there. So I'm hoping when we we'll be able to contact them directly, and they will have some information for us on what's going on here. Let's have a look. My troop has settled in Bled and Timin. We've been doing espionage for one day. Um, okay. Looks like there's no Harkonnen troops around. Well, that's good. Okay. Well, that, hmm, well, that encourages me maybe to do a little bit of fighting. How well trained are these guys? They're experts. I'm all trying to these guys. Oh, okay, so I've got two sets of experts there. I feel like we could probably do quite well there. Can I get in contact with these soldiers too? Okay, they're only just starting. And these guys, they're skilled. Okay. Well, I. So I'm tempted to say, I know they've only just uh, arrived and started training really, but I'm tempted to get this troop up to here. I think that'll, um, that'll help. Um, so their productivity is going down. Let's have another check on the spice density because it's, um, it's kind of... Okay, so it's going down quite rapidly there. But there's still more to be had, which is, is fine. Yeah, so there's 
we will start to run out of spice soon if we don't um, recover a few areas. We'll just go with some new ones, um, which might might take us to a crunch point. But we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, or um, that desert for that matter. Okay, so. So I think this is my most expert expert group. So well hang on, so is there the troop that's espionaging? Can I get them Oh yes, if I change the occupation, the only other, other thing they can do is attack. Um so I'll, I'd wait until there's somebody else to back them up. give them a little more time. Yes, yeah, so if there's not if there aren't any troops around, there shouldn't be a lot of defense for that force, so it should be a re relatively easy battle, I hope. Um, just checking with everybody else. You know what, I'm gonna risk, uh, while they're doing that, I'm gonna risk heading over to Well, you know, I suppose I don't. I don't really have an instruction for the prospectors, do I? Um, and oh, you know what? So that area is pretty. Um, it's pretty mined out, isn't it? There's only this water supply there as well. Okay. So this group, if I can contact them, so I might need to go a bit further in. If I can contact them to move there for mining. I think they'd be uh, they'd be doing pretty well by that. So I can see the greenery progressing as well. That's lovely. Okay, so where is a good place to go to contact those those guys a bit better? Maybe here. Yeah, let's go there. So it might be nice to go there and check in with Kynes as well in case there's any any story or mechanical developments from where we've got to with our ecological uh, progress. Okay, so I'll see if I can do my remote contact first. Hopefully my range is such that I can get to to these? No, okay, so I need to get closer. Well, that's alright. While I'm here, might as well pop in and say hello. So I think there's, yeah, there's a, a Fremen chief here. Let's talk to them. It's been days since we've heard from you. I'm here now. My troop has settled in. See how you work. We've been doing irrigation and tree care for 10 days. That's gone by fast, hasn't it? Our ability is increasing. We're now average in ecology. Excellent. Glad to hear that. Okay, kinds. One group of bulbs is ready to be used, but as you can see, I'm working to prepare new ones. This is exalting, my dear. Okay, kind of still in the same kind of place. Maybe distracting himself with his work. Right, take an orny, and then get a little bit closer. We get to that one, is that close enough? Let's find out. Okay, can I still contact? The troops from here as well. Yeah, I think I can. So where's the oh there's the guy, he's on the way. Okay. Um where are these can't get them. Can't get them still. Okay, gonna have to get closer. It's tricky to judge, isn't it? I think it's because it's harder to get to a southerly location. I think we're going to have to go to this one, aren't we? What's their spice density like? Very low. Okay. Well. I may as well send. Oh, oh yeah. 
There we go. So you can see troop occupation by clicking on that, apparently. Um, so just tell you their cardinal color. So yellow is harvesting, green is ecology, red is military. Ooh, mixed usage is hatch. Nice. That's a cool thing. Um, yeah, okay, so these guys. Um, what are you doing? You are experts. A oh, worm's come idea. We saw it was so huge. I don't have to be able to protect themselves, but I wouldn't like to do that again. Okay. Can I move you guys to there actually? Because that'll do the job that I that I need, getting somebody out there. And that'll that'll certainly do for now. Alright, this person's on the way. Oh, I lost them. There they are. Um Yeah. Okay, I think that's reasonable. I will fly back to the usual point up here, I think. Yes, that's the one we're going to try and take if we can. So this should hopefully give the soldier enough time to get where they're going, or near enough. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, you're expert, so I'm going to get you to move to here. Let's do it. And then you, your experts too, I need you to move to here. And the, the, the small tube can stay there. So, when they get there, I'll see what happens to the the spy. Um, yeah, so all this says is empty around. No sign of Chani, unfortunately. Um, I'll see if I need to command them to attack, but they, they might do it by themselves. Okay, that popped in pretty quick. Which has been attacking Blood and Timon for a very short time. Okay. There's much confusion on the Harkonnens, it's going to be easy to rout them. Okay. Well, that seems positive. So, if that concludes fairly swiftly, uh, then I'll, I'll send um, one of the, the troop back to there to make sure we hold this location as well. I just can't quite work out what these symbols are. So, uh, red and blue, I mean, I don't know, it's vaguely phallic, isn't it? And then what's this blue thing? Because we've had, I think I've had that symbol appear before during a battle, but what does, what does that mean? I'm not sure. Anyway, I, I'm gonna go there flying an awning. Oh, hang on. Is the battle over? But it doesn't say battle anymore. We've won the battle. We're transforming this ugly fortress into a nice yet. You'll see. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we... that's the thing to behold, isn't it? We better get there. See what's going on. It worked. Haha, <laughs> it worked. Oh, okay. We get, yeah, we get the locale. And we can just go in. We can just go in. Oh, it's nice to get this uh, different style of interior as well. So we've got all the Fremen here. We've got another room we can go to. It's exciting. We've won the battle, Matladub. We're transforming this ugly fortress into a nice yet, you'll see. Um, we're going to get the same kind of thing. We've won the battle, Matladub. We're transforming this ugly fortress into a nice yet, you'll see. We're transforming this ugly fortress into a nice yet, you'll see. Okay. Um, okay. Nothing in the this angular, brutalist torture chamber, um, which is a relief, I suppose. Um, you know what? There might be. There might be stuff here. Oh, there is stuff here. How much of it is uh, is this guy's stuff? One way to tell is to ask to modify equipment. 
there's nothing extra because that's my my only okay well that's fair enough i was hoping we might get something out of it but having a um a new area to look at is very exciting so can i move you to should we want to go can i move you back here oh no we have to make transformations here plus my men definitely need some rest they deserve it don't they oh they do thank you so that's another I like that. That's another human consideration that's programmed into the, the strategy of it. It, um, it helps with the personalization of, um, of all this. That's good. I'm, I'm still hoping we can get back to, to here, but um, I'm going to take the game's hints thus far that um, our best route to progress is, is through this area here. Okay, so when they're done, I can... Uh, I can send one back to the other Sierra, and I think that's a pretty good spread then. We could even probably risk trying to, um, what am I thinking? Trying to uh, espy on someone else. That would be good. Okay, hi, how you doing? Let's see uh, if I can contact, who can I contact from here? Oh, I can't get some prospectors yet. You know what? Let's bite the bullet. Let's just fly there. And we'll go inside. We'll talk to people. See how they're doing. How you doing? Trooper sailed in Selimin to Bin. Been doing spice mode for 14 days. Wow. Um, ah, they avoided the worm? Yeah, that's good. Um, our production level has raised 34 kilograms an hour. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I think it is quite poor spice now, isn't it? Let's just check the density map. Yeah, it's very low. I mean, you can stay there for a bit if you want to. It won't hurt. You can still extract a little bit more from it. These areas are starting to, to get down in density now too. Um, so what I, yeah, what I most want to do is ask the prospector. Actually, where is the prospector? You should be. Are you in a different room? He's not in there. Is there a water room? There is. Where is the prospector? That's weird. Oh, I'm in the wrong sketch. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> oh dear me. Um, okay, could I get you to move to... There's only one more location, but if we can mine it, that would be very exciting. Oh, that's all mined out as well. Okay, I'll get you to go there. Um, you know what? The... Yeah, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna let these guys stay here. Let those guys stay there. How are you doing in your military training, novice? Cool. Um, yeah, you. So you gonna try to get you to stay and train up for a bit longer, or shall I get something else to happen? Hmm. That's a good question. So this. There's no wind trap. No water there. What about this one? No wind trap. I'm not quite sure how we're gonna get wind traps. Because the I wonder if the ecology training has to move to like a different stage. Can't contact those guys, so that's okay. Um Alright, so there was a harvester here, right? Did I move that on already? I think I must have done. Uh, all right, I'll, so I'll let this area is almost done. And the one we are currently at is almost done. So I'll let those um, do what they're doing. Um, and then I'll move one to the new area. 
to give the prospector some time to get the two. So let me keep an eye on the days as well because they're, they're flying by. Um, day 66 is when we need to be back uh, for spice payments. So let's contact everybody. There we go. Are you guys. Have you seen how we transformed that fortress into a lovely set? You have! The, um, the icon on the map has changed. Okay, could I get you guys to move to there, please? So that's a bit more reinforced. I think that would help. And then I guess what I'll do, because these, these troops are all pretty close together, aren't they? Um, yeah. Yeah, so I imagine if I visit there, the interior will look very much the edge like which is an incredible and rapid transformation, um, which probably doesn't really work on a realistic level, but on a story level, um, it's quite nice. Okay. All right, so you, I'm going to get you to do some espionage and we'll, we'll try to set this, um, this process off again. Now we're doing a little bit better in terms of, uh, of military prowess. So how's this? Ooh, they're now experts as well. Okay. So I wonder if I should move them. I think I will move them. Because if we start taking a, say, a third um, area, I think you need to move to this one first. If we start taking a third area, we might need more troops around. Okay, you found another one. Interesting. Bledan Tabir. Bledan must be the the region, um, I guess, because that seems to be the naming convention around here. Excellent. So what's our timer looking like? We're heading into the 65th day? So we've got a little bit of time. Okay. Um, let's check the old spice density. Still okay there for now. Ooh, that's getting mined out pretty quick, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be nice to have a, a region there as well. Yeah, there's not much going on is there around here. I wonder how these guys are doing. I haven't been in touch with them for ages. It's been days since we've heard for you. A troop has settled in Havani Hag. We've been doing spice bunny for five days. Our ability is increasing. We are now expert in spice. Oh, great. Ooh. Okay, they lost a few people. Could have been avoided with an orny. Um, Alright, well, I could get you an orny, couldn't I? Let's, um... How much do they sell ornies for where I am right now? So I think we paid... How much did we pay last time? I'm not adjusting Chris Nuts right now. Thank you. Laser guns, not right now. Thank you. I think we paid quite a lot, didn't we? Um, Weeded modules, not right now. Thank you, although you've been very helpful with those in the past. Only for 1,600. I think that's actually a pretty good deal. Let's argue a little bit. 1,400? I think that's okay. Yeah, let's accept that. And we can pay that bill off when we um, we need to. Right, so what I uh, will do is I'm going to end the conversation. Thank you, smuggler. I'm going to take an orny to... Oh, okay, it's getting... Time's getting on. It was this one, wasn't it? Or was it this one? No, it was this one. Let's get there. Um drop off their orny I'm going to see them because um, we have neglected them for a while I think this is the person 
which was an abandoned hog, which is five for five days. Um, where to you pour spice? Am I actually in the right place? Let's just double check. Yeah, this is where I want to go. Great. Um, let's modify your equipment. Um, you can have this. The only should prove really useful in watching for the worm sign. It will save lives and equipment. Excellent. And then I'm gonna uh, get out of here. See you later. I'm gonna call a worm. But you know, we we prophets of the desert can do things like that. Their part. How do it work there? Um, so I want to get back to. Can I get a worm to the village? Because that would be helpful. Um, I think I can. Okay. Oh, this. Why do we need disc one? That's interesting. Oh, perhaps we need it just for the worm animation. That's intriguing. I don't remember doing that before. Interesting game, interesting. Great, so we're here. It's almost time to turn to the 26th, sorry, 66th day. Let's just check on these uh, troops. Ooh, the fortress seems to have turned into like a double statue? My trooper settled in Bled and Tibir. We've been doing espionage for a few hours. Explain army. We've seen two Harkonnen troops. They are dangerous, my dear, and they've got arms, indeed. Troops settled in Bled and Tibir. We've been doing espionage for a few hours. Okay. Interesting. So that's going to be tougher, isn't it? But luckily, we've got... Um... Experts there, we've got experts there, we've got average there, we've got experts there, that's pr pretty encouraging. And um, they're just harvesting, and I've got one more troop off down here. Right? So I can't contact them right now, but next time I am able to, I will ask them to come up there, I think. Great, um, it's time to head back to the palace. Let's go. Ah, sure. So it's the it's only the very uh, early hours of the morning. So we can go see Duncan first and pay our bill. Our stocks of spice are currently eighty five thousand nine hundred and fifty kilograms. Is they only produced three thousand three hundred and fifty kilograms? That's two four hundred and twenty less than the day before. The emperor will call for a spice shipment tomorrow. Ah, one moment. If we see some kind of bill, let me find it. Yes, here it is. A smuggler from the Simpo region. Claiming a payment. 1,400 kilograms of spice. Um, I accept this payment. I did spend that money. Okay, that'll be done. Um, we'll check in with Jessica as well while we're here. She's still researching the water of life. Oh, Paul, how I can feel this power in you. Could you be the one? Believe me, Paul, I can sense that your powers have increased. You are now able to contact Fremen in a wider range. Wow, well, that would be helpful. And then she will investigate the... Oh. So, out of curiosity, should we see how we're doing statistically as well? Um... Ah, there's more and more green appearing. Lovely. I like that. Okay, let's see the results. 
I guess so. So we've got greater controlled areas, greater charisma. So I I assume charisma is going to be the one that, that governs um, our powers. I think that'll be my my interpretation. So can I? How widely can I contact people now? I can get. I could probably get to. Can I reach them? I can. Nice. But not that far. So I don't think going the other way. I don't think I'll be able to get to the. Um, so I'm basically the. Uh, the wrong pole for. Ah, oh, look at that, lovely. Very green now. Uh, the wrong pole for contacting these guys, or am I? Oh, I can contact them. Excellent, they're closer than I thought. Right, can I get you guys to move uh, to kind of over here from this perspective, isn't it? It's um this one. That'd be very helpful. And the prospect is. Oh, did I not ask you to move to? Apparently I didn't. Well, let's do that now. Uh, to there, please. Done. Yeah, there we go. Great, so that's on the go. Well, that worked out all right, didn't it? Uh, anything going on in the war room? Nope, just racks of barrels. Um, Thufa, any news? Hmm, Charney, I know. We're we're trying. We've taken uh we've taken uh two fortresses now. Um you get the message will come through soon. So in the meantime, let's read through a bit more of the book. It's like a good time for it. So we're up to Paul on June. On June, the desert covers the entire planet, also called Arrakis, or the Sand Planet. June is known as the only place where the most valuable substance in the universe, the spice, can be found. Weather? No precipitations. A few natives, the Fremen, live hidden in the desert. Paul's mother, Jessica, explains, Paul, I gave you more than an education. It was more of a kind of special training. I expect that here on this very special planet, you'll discover that you have many special powers. Not so special in that sentence. Duncan Idaho told Paul, Sandworms grow to an enormous size. Specimens longer than 400 meters have been seen in the deep desert. and live to a great age. Worms attack or rhythmic vibrations. Paul Atreides went alone in the desert. There he had his first vision, and from this moment he was able to have visions of simultaneous important events occurring elsewhere on Dune. He was also able to mentally communicate with the Fremen, rallied to him within a certain range. And Charney said to Paul, Oh Paul, this moment is unique, being here next to you with all these worlds above us. I want to be close to you. One day, Charney conducted Paul to her father's yetch. Liette Kynes let him visit his botanical station where experimental bulbs were grown. Paul also came to know of the presence of wind traps that captured the very light humidity from the air. Patiently, drop by drop, Fremen have accumulated water in huge reservoirs. And then I think we need this one there for the, the credits. Nice! So that's keeping a nice close, fairly close ca uh, chat, track of our adventures so far. There we go, okay. Well, let's add not a lot of time pass there. We can have a little wander in the desert, I think. Just take a little, little stroll. Right, we'll come back to you in a minute, Duncan. Uh, let's look in the mirror while we're here. Very intense blue eyes, Paul. And have a look on the balcony. Silgar, do you have anything to say? Mm, I know, I know. The morale is lower. 
We all feel her loss. But we will we will recover her. Okay. Uh no messages. I suspect as soon as I get out of this room then It's gonna call any minute, I'm sure. I guess we've probably got a, a, a bit of a generous timer, so I perhaps don't need to be exactly on that. Hmm. Yes, here we go. Probably don't have to be exactly on time for the message, but I think it helps give us the maximum amount of time after the message. I want a shipment of 17,560 kilograms of spice today. Yes, Emperor. Okay, Duncan. Okay, yeah, things are going down. The Emperor did ask for a shipment. Um, I guess I knew what he asked for. Yep, I accept. Okay, Paul, let's go to the communication room at once and send the shipment to the Emperor. The, I guess the game is implying that there's every possibility that we'd be able to, we wouldn't be able to send him um, as much as he needs. Which I'm anticipating could, could happen if we, um, if we don't make strides of conquest. Um, then I think we could easily run out of spice. Off it goes. Spice has been shipped. Let's wait for the Emperor's reaction. We'd have to worry. Ah, here's the answer. Messages. I'm expecting the same as usual. Okay, lovely. So, make an out. So, we've got six days from the 66th to make the next shipment. I guess the other, the other thing that occurred to me is um, the few times we've stumbled across um, a premature death and the end of the game. Um, the timer has set itself to 365, so I think we've probably only got one Earth year as worth of in-game days in order to get anywhere with this game. Um, which is fine, because we're only on day 66 at the moment, so I mean, well, potentially we could drag out for a long time, but I think we'd run out of resources before then. Interesting though. And that's it for today's episode. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, next time, we'll do a bit more of the same, really. We're going to try and take over another Harkonnen base and keep track of our, our spice harvesters and go from there. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.